Is steady MRD negativity tied to longer survival? What does the latest data show? Well, Bonnie, you've also been listening in and watching very carefully. And just to make sure we're on the same page here with everyone, MRD or minimal residual disease refers to the testing that we do typically on the bone marrow to see if there's any tiny amounts of myeloma left. And sometimes we can't find any and we call that MRD negative. Quick answer to your question, yes. MRD negativity is linked to longer term survival, which is not a surprise, is if we can truly eradicate the disease or at least reach to a point where we can't see it anymore, we actually still think there may be still some of it hiding in a place that we can't see. But if we can get rid of it down to that level, it is going to keep people in remission for longer and indeed alive for longer. Now, there are some exceptions to the rule because myeloma is a very complicated disease. Paradoxically, we have some patients that actually get into MRD negativity really quickly, but sadly don't stay there for very long. That's typically high risk myeloma. But overall, yes, getting into MRD negativity is a great thing and predicts for longer survival. And I hope you stay in MRD negativity for a very long time and can enjoy your quality and quantity of life.